Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, more Terraria. Picking up where I left off. Not really anything else to say. Let's get started. So, last time. What happened last time? I barely remember. Alright, I did some of the Frost Moon, but not all of it. I tried fighting Leviathan, but it didn't go well. So, I'm going to pick up with. I'm going to pick up with doing something. I, I do need to do the Great Sand Shark. Sandstorm's core. I don't really want to make that, so... This guy sells a thing that summons a sandstorm, right? Ah. Oh no, that's... He's the mini boss guy. Ah, interesting amount of lasers. Although the damage on that is low. I don't like it. This guy sells events, right? Yes. Maybe. No. I don't know. Oh. Looks like I'm able to one-shot most of the enemies here. Now I just need to wait for sand sharks to spawn. Because I need to kill how many? Ten. Oh, that was not ten. I should the sand elemental needs to die first. I know that. Although, I guess I can just kill both of them at the same time. Grey Sand Shark seems to have some issues with clipping through blocks, huh? This boss is a bit odd, if you ask me. Well, it's dead, so... Grand scale. What do these do? They make weapons. That's it. Okay. Interesting. I don't know why I needed to fight that, but I, I did, I guess. What was that flail called? The tumbleweed? I doubt I can make it. Yeah, I don't have a Sun Fury, unless I can make one. No, unless... No, nope, okay. Whatever. Not a huge deal. I'm I'm just now realize remembering that I can make Can I make six of these? I can. Just gotta upgrade my storage, you know. Okay, so now I can actually store items. What's what's the next storage upgrade? Blue Chlorophyte, right? Yeah, so I need Shroomite Spectre. I'll probably do that in a while. Speaking of... Mm, nah, I'm lazy. I was going to say I'll make a house in the mushroom biome, but I'm, I'm too lazy for that, man. Give me a break. 
I will, however, start buying potions for um, the Leviathan fight. I think that's what I do next, at least. Oh, I have more potions. Mm, I can buy these now. All of those. Nice. Hmm. I think this will. This might be enough. Yeah. I mean, we can try. Turn it to day, just because I want it to be day. So I gotta remember the bubble or the bubbles make me confused. The music notes that spawn make me confused. Although no, no, they don't anymore because I made the Ong shield last time. I guess. Yeah, I did. I was like, hey, I don't like being confused constantly. I'll just make something that'll help me not be confused, and then I did. I have 670 max health. I think that's pretty nice. And there's the Leviathan. The big boy. Yeah, this guy's pretty massive. This fight's interesting. I haven't done it in a long time, I don't think. Well, Vyphon's slow, though. Like, he just moves so slowly. That I feel like... So I, I read on the wiki that, like... Once you kill either the Siren or the Leviathan, the other one becomes more powerful. The Leviathan doesn't seem like he's very powerful. At least now, so... Probably kill the Siren first? At least that's what I read on the wiki, like... Preparing for... This playthrough. Siren is not... This this fight doesn't seem very threatening in general. So now I just... Oh yeah, he's definitely mad. This is a mad fish if I ever saw one. Really angry. Absolutely fuming. Like, he's actually so mad, a and he's just not hitting me with anything. It doesn't matter how mad he is, I'm- I- I'm just hitting everything and he's not- Nope, no nope. Finish him off, okay. Yeah, that was the Leviathan and, and Siren. Um... Yeah. 
That was... Interesting. Um... I wouldn't say it's difficult, but... Interesting. Well, that was Leviathan and, si and the Siren. Um. This one was useful for... This one will probably be useful for going into the abyss, right? What do I do next? Pumpkin Moon, don't really care. Aureus, Astral Chunk. Okay, how do I make an Astral Chunk? Just, just like that, I guess. Well. Do I, do I just go and fight Astromorius? Is that what we're doing here? Um. Oh wait, I wanted to reforge this. To something good. I'll take either warding or menacing. Okay, well, I'll take it. 90 defense, not bad. Uh, dungeon teleporter. Okay. Oh wait, it needs to be night. Oh, it spawns right on top of me, huh? Isn't this boss just like Crabulon? It, it looks like Crabulon. It, it acts like Crabulon, except like more powerful, much more powerful. Oh, and it teleports. It's really loud, isn't it, too, isn't it? Huh? Ow. Ow, I'm hurting. I can't keep track of what's my projectile and what's its projectile. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. My skin was replaced by the astral virus. Huh. That was harder than I thought it would be. Not gonna lie. Um... Or I could- I could just do Golem now if I wanted. I might just do Golem now, that probably won't be too hard, right? I- I'm too lazy to go back and do that until a bit later. Or I could try doing Fish Run. If I'm... Dumb, which I definitely am. Fifteen glowing mushrooms and a worm to make a truffle worm. What? Is that supposed to be balanced? Because that's not balanced at all. Look, I've got a worm. Wow. Fish on is, is usually not too difficult for me, so... Like, I'm, I'm much more confident in Bishon than I am in Astrum Aureus right now, I guess. So I guess I could grab a few Truffle Worms. Like... 
three. And three should be enough. Oh, I need an auto hammer. Okay, whatever. Guess I'm grabbing my... Mm, actually, I'll use mushroom. Let's go. Oh. Mistake. I'm pressing a lot of buttons, but not the right ones. Anyway. Let's just, let's just make a house for the truffle, you know? Let's just... I'm just gonna... Remove these mushroom blocks. Oh, much enemies are spawning, huh? I mean, they're not gonna kill me, but they're spawning. so easy to kill though they're just running to their deaths anyway this should be a suitable house for the truffle I can just turn it to day now is it day it is day so the truffle should move in eventually Unless there are other NPCs waiting to move in, but I'm hoping there aren't. Blue solution. Okay. Anyway, so I need to... Okay, I can't do that. I can't do that. I. It's either Aureus, or Golem, or Fishron. Oh, Truffle. I feel like Truffle, or not Truffle, uh, Fishron might be the move here, just to, like, get a lead in this, I guess. Not, not a lead, but, like, I, I don't know. Just, like, get better stuff than I'd normally have right now. Now I can make truffle worms, right? And then I can craft them into these. I, I want to try it without buff potions. I, I know it probably won't go well, but I want to try it, you know? I do like no damage. And he does damage, so... Ah uh, yes, the Sharknados. Oh, I did not... I mean, I'm doing damage, I guess. Oh, but the sharks hurt. Hmm. Okay. Second, is this second form? It is. Ow. 
Okay. Oh, I'm probably dead here, huh? Yeah. Not bad. Half health. Um... I feel like I need a second platform to dodge the tornadoes, though. So maybe not fish on now. Maybe wait until later. So instead, I'm going to... Uh, grab... A wrench... And... Some wire... And some more wire, and some actuators, and a switch. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna say, you know what? No, I don't fight. I, I'm just gonna, like... Put that there. And... Just jump. Oh. I triggered some traps, but... I'm out of here anyway, so... Um... That worked, right? I, I, I actually probably don't even, yeah, I don't even need the altar, but I'm gonna grab it anyway. Might as well. Uh, Golem, not difficult. I can probably beat Golem unless there's some revengeance mode twist. I'm confident in my ability to beat up this guy. Uh, um, because unless Revengeance Mode has changed him, Golem is a pushover. It's so easy. It's kind of sad. Now, I, I could definitely see Calamity making him, like, enrage outside of the temple, but at the same time... I feel like enraged Golem would still be pretty... I feel like I'm gonna want to start constructing better arenas, though. Like, for all of my things, I'm not gonna be able to get away with just run- just flying around the boss like this, like I've been doing for every single boss fight so far. There are just gonna be, like, too many projectiles. Ah, uh, that's the golem buff, right. Um... The golem buff is literally just, like, you can't kill the body until you've killed both arms. That's it. Which isn't, like... Hmm. He's also firing a lot of lasers. I love this sword, by the way. Arc of the... Ancients is... It's just so good. Golem. Shoot fast, huh? Okay, so, you know how what I said about, like, maybe buffs making this fight harder? Yeah, um, I definitely said that. You know, I definitely said that, and, um, I didn't think it w there would actually be buffs making it difficult to kill Golem, but, ugh, there, there sure were. I was not expecting that. Okay. <laughs> Guess I do need buff potions after all, huh? I actually sort of just don't want to do Golem, but I should.
I, I do need to do Golem eventually, so I should just get it over with now. But, I also sort of don't want to do it, you know? I don't know. I, I can try again with buff potions this time. Because... Mm, True Arc of the Ancients should be able to carry me, right? Like, I, I don't know. Maybe it can't. When do I upgrade it anyway? That is... Okay. okay. After Moon Lord. Got it. Buff. Okay. So I've got buff potions this time. Should make my life a whole lot easier. And the less damage I take early on, the easier it'll be for me to do, to, to like, win the fight later on. I may be able to get our adrenaline, so... I can kill the hand here and then use adrenaline to, like, burst down the body if I can hit all- if I can hit any of my projectiles. Okay. Just keep dodging, I think is what I need to do. Maybe nighttime would make my life easier. Oh, I can't. I can't switch the time during a boss fight, it's sad. I was thinking that it might be easier to do this fight if it was nighttime instead, because then I could see the projectiles more easily, but... Okay, so I'm still pretty healthy. Do I focus the head first, or the body? That's my question. I guess I'm gonna focus the head, because... I probably don't deal much damage to the body unless I kill the head, and the head is... I don't know. I'm gonna focus the head first anyway. so hard to hit the head, though. Why is it so hard to hit the head? Aw, oh, this is... Harder than it should be, I feel. Okay. Golem head is n no longer alive. So now I just kill golem body. Simple, right? Probably not. Yeah, this fight as a whole is just... I feel like it's harder than... It, it, it's way harder than golem usually is. Speaking of which, apparently Golem is becoming more difficult in Terraria 1.4. So, maybe it'll finally be, like, not a free boss kill. Like, there, in, in vanilla Terraria, there's basically no reason to not go straight from Plantera to Golem. So, oh wow, he's fast. Yeah, he jumped fast, but he also dead, so...
Oh, I got the pick saw. I guess... Okay, so a plague has befallen the jungle. An ancient automaton is... Uh, something. That means Ravager and Plague Bringer, right? I think. Hmm. Eh, interesting. I feel like if I can make the Possessed Hatchet... Ah. Uh, oh, I should've- okay. And can I use beetle husks for anything besides? Okay, nothing useful. I don't want beetle armor. Doesn't interest me. I could fight another. I definitely could. But nah, not worth it, really. I don't- I don't need the Possessed Hatchet that badly, I just wanted to get Golem out of the way. I should do Aureus, though. Uh... Astro... Chunk... Astral Chunk. I need more Stardust, I guess. Uh, from this guy. Oh, cultists. Fun. Can't I make, like, astral solution or something? That spreads the astral infection with a clintaminator? Let's check solutions. Alright, actually I should... Yeah, it's the Astral Solution. Which I, I guess is sold by someone. It would be super nice to get a more convenient Astral Biome. One that wasn't right next to the dungeon. Uh, I can kill people through walls, I guess, just by beating them up with... What if I just tried fighting the cultists right now? Would that be really dumb? Actually, I know it would be really dumb, but I, I sort of want to try it anyway. Should I? Is it worth it? Like, what, what can I lose from fighting the cultists is my question. Uh, I can lose my life. You know what, screw it. Let's go. If I beat it, I beat it. Get ahead. Epic. Nice. If I don't, well... Doesn't matter. Oh no, I did make a mistake there, uh, unless, actually I think it's just like, they stay no matter what, I don't know man. I'm just circling. Okay, so the clones just stay no matter what, which is sort of obnoxious. Yeah, they literally just stay no matter what. Okay. Okay. 
I can probably do this. Oh, Phantasm Dragon. Never mind, I made a mistake, I think. Ow. Thank you, Phantasm Dragon. Very cool. Oh. How, how much health did I have then? I feel like I just got one shot from 150 health. Which is obviously not the goal. I don't know why I'm fighting the cultists. I still need to do... Aureus... Bet- Oh no, I'm not doing Betsy. Aureus, Plague Bit Ringer, Fishron, Ravager. Or at least I'm supposed to. Okay. Do I have to fight Aureus in the Astral Biome? Also, I feel like there should- I should be able to find an NPC that sells the Astral Solution. Is it the- I want to say it's one of the Calamity NPCs, but I don't know. Hmm. I- I don't know, man. Okay. Ah, it is the uh, steampunker. Okay. But I don't think I have to fight Aureus in the astral biome. I think I just have to. Grab some astral chunks. I think I just have to summon him in there. And that's it. I think. I'm not sure because I don't I've I haven't ever fought Aureus, but Oh the the cultists are back already. Okay. Go, 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 go. I can go wherever I want. Try teleporting. Good, at least. I'm running into things so much. Big jump. does take damage outside of the astral biome, so I'm guessing it's allowed, it's legal for me to leave, right? Oh, he is, he is jumpy. Okay, it did like no damage with adrenaline. I run out of potion effects before the night's over. Wait, is Aureus only at night? 
I hope Aureus isn't the night only fight, because that would mean that I would lose in a minute and 15 seconds. Which I don't want to do, for obvious reasons. Oh well. If I die here, I'll learn two things from this fight. Bring more potions, and don't start it at the at in the middle of the night. God, this mod soundtrack is so good. Like, it legitimately belongs in a professionally designed game. Like, a fully... Like... Oh, come on. Yep. Despawned. Knew it. My mistake. Could have got could have gotten him, but mistake mistake was made. Um my fault, my fault. Hundred percent. So bring more potions this time. Rage Wrath. This should just- that should just be enough. What do these people sell? I don't know. Not- not- anything. nothing useful. Nothing useful. When can I make the next... Ah. Uh, uh, I- I don't- I don't even know what I'm looking for. Um... Uh, astral... There, there's... I, I don't- I don't know what I'm looking for, man. Ethereal core? No. It's not that. It's- it's like the- the next... Maybe it's- is it- do I- do I use life fruits for it? Yeah, I think so. Is it the... It's not the dragon fruit. The miracle fruit. Aureus cell. Okay. And then elderberry comes after providence. Okay. So miracle fruit is the next... Life increase thing for me. Right? What do I have that gives me plus 20 max life? Ah, that. Got it. Anyway, I- I can- I can definitely beat... Aureus, I think. Now it's night, right? Okay, I can just clean up the mobs now. Okay. Seems to like teleporting somewhat off now. Oh wait, I should buff. I was wondering why I didn't have my full, like, 670 life. I'm so glad when he teleports on top of you, there's an amount of time where he doesn't deal contact damage. Or maybe he just never deals contact damage and it's all the projectiles, I really don't know. You really like jumping though. <laughs> he 
go fast. Jumpy Starboy. I feel like there are better weapons I could be using right now, though. Like, True Arc of the Ancients is really good, but I doubt it's the best. Is it? Okay. Waited for adrenaline to when I knew I could land everything. So... So that I got the most out of it. What if I just accidentally summoned the cultists right now? Oh, uh, I'd, I'd probably be pretty mad, not gonna lie. Uh, 37%, not bad. I got it down to like, was it 15 or 20% when it despawned last time? Yeah. I remember the original version of this boss, when it was the Astral Gel- the Astral Gelbin Slime, I think? It, it was supposed to be like a play on- I think it was a play on words between Astral, Gel, and Armageddon. So it, it was like, I don't know, it was sort of a weird name. Astragelbin Slime. So many projectiles right now. Just gotta keep moving at all times. Where'd it go? Ethereal click can be heard from the dungeon. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I killed like two of the cultists. That makes me really uneasy. I don't know. Okay. So I do get those Aureus cells I wanted. I'll take that. Uh, otherwise... Okay, now, what was it, the... Miracle Fruit? Yeah, I need more Living Shards, which means another Plantera kill. I should probably just kill, like, two, three more Planteras. This guy sells. Uh, probably worth. I don't know. And... Yeah, I can just, like...
Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, so plague bees start will start spawning here now. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I really... Oh wait, wasn't Astral Ore, like, gated? Or, no, it was Scorio. Oh, there's li literally just a Plantera bulb on the floor of my arena. How convenient. The Plantera fight was ridiculously easy the first time. I'm expecting it to be even more ridiculously e easy the second time. Now that I have the true arc instead of the normal arc and and all of that. Like look, it's already at 70%. Oh, and there's a life fruit too. I want that. Give me that. Start existing on the floor again now that there's no threat of pink spiky balls like insta killing me. I mean they don't insta kill really, but you you know what I mean, right? Y'all know what I mean. You just die super fast to them. This should give me enough living shards to build my Terra Edge. Or would I rather have the extra life fruit? Also, I'm pretty sure I haven't used a single, like, vanilla melee weapon since the beginning of the playthrough, because they're all outclassed pretty hard. I think I win this, maybe. True Arc of the Ancients is not as good as the regular Arc of the Ancients was. I mean, like, it's a better weapon, but it, it's an upgrade. Oh, a Plague Bringer. What? What are you? You're, you're just Queen Bee. You're- you're literally just Queen Bee. Uh, huh? I know that the Plague Bringer Goliath is a thing, but is this how you get Plague Cell canisters now? Not the small Plague Bees? Hmm? Okay, and then I make the Abomination. That- that's a funny name. Haha. Ha. Do I- do I fight another? I can fight another. Why not? Let's- let's try out a different weapon, you know? Let's try the Brimlash. Okay, it does, like, no damage. Ah, uh, it does damage. A bit. Sometimes. What about my Christmas tree sword? Okay, that does, like, no damage. Ah, uh, it does damage. The projectiles are heavy hitting. I'll say that. Catastrophe Claymore is not- does not seem great here. Brimlash- Brimlash seems good. I might have to use this a bit more. Like, it does damage. And, and the homing stuff is nice. Of course, Arc of the Ancients, True Arc of the Ancients, has homing as well, so... Uh, it's... Mm. And it's 
it's not great DPS, huh? Now the Christmas tree sword. It's like, it's easy to hit, and it does good damage. Also, it's getting buffed in, um... Christmas tree sword is getting buffed in, um... 1.4, or like, reworked, I guess. Not really a buff, not- it's, it's just a rework. Okay, I'm not gonna activate Rage here because that's cringe and boring. Okay, these are the Plague Bees that I remember. Not those Plague Bringer things. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, I got nothing useful from that except the Living Shards, which I will now use for the... Uh, not astral. Uh, miracle fruit? Do I have enough stuff for that? No, I need five light fruits. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Uh, I will build the Terra Edge, not the Terra Blade. It's barely any difference in damage. Two sixty-three, two thirty-seven. I may have found myself a new weapon. Although, Arc of the Elements may be better. I don't actually know which is better. Like this seems like a more reliable projectile than that. But also, you get the homing stars from. Hmm. You know what? Let's let's test it. Let's turn it to night and. What boss do we fight? What if we just fight all of the heart or the pre mode bosses at once? Sure, let's do it. You'd even spawn the Eater of Worlds, huh? I mean, this is probably not the best test, huh? Seeing as I, I kill everything really fast regardless, but... Terra Edge does seem good. I and I do like the healing that I get. Ooh, tier 5 loot nice. Nice. Okay. So now I've gotta sell all this stuff. Oh wait, that sells for two platinum. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna sell everything that comes out of these. Okay, and now let's try it with the Ark of the Ancients. Definitely higher damage on, like, the worm. And, like, I think it's just higher damage in general. But the projectile is less reliable, which is sort of important in Ascended Fights. That's tricky. Yeah, tough choice, actually. Okay, the DPS of the Terra Edge, I feel, is 100%, like, higher. And it's more reliable. But, the homing on the arc is... I think I stick with the Terra Edge. Bonk. Uh, I can even reforge it to like Ruthless or Legendary or so, or not. I want 
legendary. I, I may just take this. Mm, no, I don't. Hmm. Not bad. 305 melee damage. With a, a smaller damage modifier. Now what I do is I grab a, a bunch of those cubes. Like... 10 of them. And a locking cube. Left control, right click. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I... Sort of like that. Chance inflict on fire. Hmm, I don't... Curse is fine, I guess. Hmm, I don't want mana cost. Confused curse inferno. What happened to the damage, though? It's, like, all gone. I think that's... I think I stick with this. And then I can... Seal it. And... And you know what? I can just use the... Last two to... Reroll this. Yeah, so this actually... With proper modifiers on both. Um, let's see. Oh, it's so fast. This is nice. Like, look at the projectile speed comparatively. Oh, and I don't even need Icor flasks anymore either. It's great. Anyway. I just wasted all my money on that. It, it's... Let's kill the pig. Oh, I'm loving these crits for 600 plus damage. Not... Okay, what do I fight next? Uh, I forget already. Gla P P Plaguebringer? Plaguebringer? Abomination? Abomination? I, I don't know. Uh... Combination. Okay. Okay, so I have to fight it underground, even though it's airborne. I know I'll need potions for this. Like, if I don't need potions, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'll have enough room in my current Plantera arena, though. Hmm. I'm just looking at some of the new potions. Um, I have full rage here, so that should make it somewhat easier to fight the Plague Bringer. Okay. I like the damage on this. It's I think it's probably higher damage per second. Especially underground jungle where... It's hard to get optimal damage. Okay. You know what? Buff up. Screw it, let's go. Oh, this thing looks different than what I remember it looking like. Yeah, it looks way different. Triggering rage is probably good. Hmm, I don't think I have enough room. It, it's literally just a more complicated... Um... Queen Bee.
Oh. Okay. That did a lot of damage. I don't think I have enough room to maneuver around, but I can't- I have to fight it in the jungle, so... I- I don't really know how I can do that better. Hmm. Do I need to make my arena much wider? I think I might just have to, like, double the width of this or something. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I think I just... Grab a bunch of mining potions. Grab some of these, too. Let's, let's double the width. I have a pick saw. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So, I got it down to 37%, but that was with rage. Oh, solar eclipse. I can grab life fruits while I'm here. That'll help me more. I, I forgot that I can now get the scoria ore in the abyss, which I think makes hydrothermic armor. So, it may be time to adventure into the abyss. Yeah, I should just put mud blocks in my hot bar. And I also should have brought shine potions, but, you know, I didn't. How much plague shell? Why are there plague turtles now? I don't like this. Okay, let's make this the corner. And go up from here. I don't know if this will be enough space, but... We can make it work. You know? Probably we should be grabbing the plague canisters while I, when I can, too, because, like... Okay, so... These plague bringers are- they're basically queen bees, but they also s are spawned by the- the plague bringer Goliath during the actual boss fight. Which is sort of interesting, but I don't think I like it. A boss spawning mini-bosses during a boss fight? Eh. I mean, it works, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna have to drain water, aren't I? I don't like draining water, it's not fun. Furthest point over I need to go. Yes. There's a rare enemy nearby, apparently, is what I'm being told. Oh, it's a mimic. Boring. Don't care. Didn't ask. Uh, I've got a lot of mining to do. Pestilent slime. There are plague slimes, too? Why, is that? Why does everything have corona? Come on. 
everything in this mod has corona now. Come on. I've gotten so many of those giant tortoise shells. They're supposed to be like rare drops, but they don't seem like it. Okay. I sort of want to make sure. Oh, wait. That's... Oh, it's the needler. Don't care. Didn't ask. I'm gonna have to let the water out. Sadly, it's not. I hate dealing with water in when trying to construct arenas, but you know, I sort of have to. I lost my Spelunker buff, and my first instinct was, oh, press B, it'll help. No, I'm not pressing B. Actually, maybe I should just, like, put all of these potions away. Just to make sure I don't accidentally, like, use them. Because I, I could easily use them. Uh, yeah. Just gotta clear out more arena. So I have big arena. I, I don't know if it'll be enough. Oh, what, is this suddenly, like... Oh, I'm walking on the water. That's why it's... That's why I don't fit. I'm good at this game, I swear. more life fruits in order to get my um my next health upgrade so that'll be nice getting more health just is just helpful you know like there there's no reason to not have health More there's there's no down. I, I've said it before. There's no downside to it. There, I I don't. Yeah, there's there's no reason to not um, get the health upgrades because they're not expensive either. They don't take much grinding other than getting life fruits, which you already have to get twenty of anyway. Might as get like might might as well get twenty more. If although. Uh, no, they are still... I think you get another 100 health from all the health upgrades, so... I'm starting to wonder, is this worth it? Is it worth it to be in this arena, digging out a massive area just so I can, like, kill this big green corona bee? Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's worth it, probably. Ah, that's perennial. Okay. When do I fight? Ah, old. Okay, old Duke is a while. Yeah, I. I was thinking. I was wondering. I was sort of thinking like, hey, I'm calling Plaguebringer Corona B. Lots of people call. The old duke, Boomerfish. When do I get to fight Boomerfish? But, it, it's a while. It'll be a while until I get to fight Boomerfish. Actually, it'll be one of the last things I do. 
Then it's just the Devourer of Gods Yaron Supreme Calamitas trio that I'm not looking forward to because those fights are difficult. But also, most people say that they're the best fights in the mod, so we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so, Devourer of Gods. I started playing uh, Calamity when I would be fighting Devourer of Gods right about now. It was, I think it was either right before or right after Plantera. I think it was right after Plantera, though, or maybe right after Golem. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But I started playing Calamity when that, that was... That was when you fought Devourer of Gods. There was it wasn't like post Moon Lord whatever. And, and then I can't remember if Yaron existed then, or if it was just like that was when Calamity was much smaller. I do think Yaron existed then. Then uh, Devourer of Gods got moved to after Moon. I I don't remember the exact history, but I think Devourer of Gods got moved to after Moon Lord. Then, I don't know if Yaron got added later, but then we had Yaron. Then, then they added Providence, because they're like, well, Devourer of Gods should be difficult. Um, and currently it's, it's, it, it's like really easy to get to it, so we're going to make it harder to get to the Devourer of Gods. But then they're like, well, you kill Moon Lord, and, and then right away, right away you just fight these three mini bosses, and then one of the hardest bosses in the mod. That's kind of boring. So then they added Providence and the Profane Guardians. I think. I think. I still, I don't have an exact timeline. Not even close, but. Aw, oh, this arena's flooded so badly. But on the bright side... I can just spam a bunch of torches on the walls and... Viralin. I don't know what that is. There are so many, like, Corona, um... Corona enemies in this right now. I, I can't keep track of all of them. Oh, I'm, I'm rich, if you call having a lot of mud being rich. Uh, ow. Ow. I don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> okay. Whatever. It is fine. I think I need mushroom platforms anyway. Oh, solar eclipse. Out of here. I have so much stuff that I don't need. And I sell that. Okay, so miracle fruit. How many life fruits do I have? Three. Oh, wait, why am I looking that up again? And then this needs planty mush. Actually, I should be going to the abyss soon. Can I make abyssal diving gear yet? I need depth cells and luminil. Okay. I should grab this, though, and put it on. And then, uh, it's the, it's the abyssal diving gear, right? Depth's charm. Okay. Do I put this on too? Maybe. 
I say I do. Okay. So I can... Oh wait, I have teleportation not to it already. Also, I'm rich. Like, actually rich. Anyway. Um... Screw it, I'll just go. I can use my tarot blade for light. Oh, that's a lot of scoria ore. And abyss gravel. Do I have a shadow key? I do still have a shadow key. Getting depth cells, so it's successful. I need tenebris and plant emush, I guess. Oh, I'm actually like dying a little, huh? Grab more scoria ore before I die. Actually, I don't die that fast, huh? Oh. I, I was dying to cloud, apparently. Huh. I, I don't know how the abyss works, man. I, I got some stuff that I thought maybe I'd need. Scoria ore turns into scoria bars. This all turns into hydrothermic stuff. And then, like, life alloy and... Fallen, pa fallen, blah, fallen paladin's hammer. But I think this... Uh, 25, 25, 20, 19. Hey, maybe that's why I'm not doing too well. Anyway, uh, 14, 14. I don't actually know if this stuff is better. Although, if I'm using hydrothermic, I can also use this Hadal Mantle. Is, is Scoria ore used for anything else? Just chaotic brick. Okay. Aw, oh, I need more Luminil. I don't know how to get Luminil. And then I want the Abyssal Diving Suit, which I can't quite get. Okay, um... Scoria Bar. Uh, can I make more? I, I do have Acto Blood, so... Uh, no. Hydrothermic. So I need three, five, six cores of chaos and hellstone. I'll make nine. Wait, when can I mine astral bar or astral? I I don't know. I want to check. Okay, I I'm I am definitely admitting that Terra Edge is better than the um Drark of the Ancients. But the true arc of the ancients is still pretty good. Terra Blade probably would have been even better in terms of damage, but there's also the healing when striking an enemy. 
part of it. I think the real question here, though... I cannot mine it. I don't know when I can, but I can't mine it. Oh well. May I think it might be after Astrum Dias. That might be it. I'll grab one of those. I, I should really just go to the underworld and mine a bunch of hellstone. Right, I still don't have a teleporter there because I'm too lazy to link it back up. Now I just grab a bunch of hellstone, huh? Like a lot. A lot. This is boring getting upgrades time, so if you if you're here for exciting boss fights, you're probably not in the right place anyway, but th this is not exciting boss fights right now. It is not exciting boss fight time. It is cringe getting good items time. I I'm... I, I still don't know what the abyss really, like... I, I don't really know how the abyss works. I just know that it's there and you get stuff from it, but... I don't know. I I really don't. Okay, that's probably enough. Huh? The hellstone, huh? Oh, I don't have obsidian though. Good thing I can buy a lot from this guy. Although it costs money, a, a decent amount. Okay, whatever, whatever. Uh, hellstone. Hydrothermic. So I can make that. That. And. The melee help. Oh, not enough. Not again. Solar veil. I don't know what that is, but. Um. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It's a. So, 326, 314, 37, 34, 77 to 78 defense. Hmm. I don't know if this is worth it, like, being completely honest. Like, I do less damage, right? I, I get more crit chance with this, but is it worth it? I don't know, maybe it is. I, I really don't know. But I guess I can use the the Haddle Mantle now. Um, who? I I'm remembering that someone sold like reforged tokens. Yeah, these things. One, two, three, four menacing tokens. Okay. So just get menacing on four accessories. I guess. Bonk. 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 And bonk. So 10% increased damage. So. 
315. So slightly more. That's because I have menacing on it too. But I think the the let's see 7.5116C. Yeah. So this is just better. Yep, okay. Was it worth? I don't know. I don't know, man. I just know that I deal damage now. Okay. But first, I need to figure out... How do I get Luminil? Uh... Let's... Let, let's find out together, shall we? So, Calamity Mod Wiki. My internet's super slow for some reason, so... Luminil. I... I... Okay. Drop by enemies, grows on blocks. Okay. So it just it just grows on things, I guess. I seem to remember the Mariana being good. Or was it just using I don't know. I don't know. Uh Okay, so I just go in there and get items, I guess. Interesting. Let's do it. Oh wait, I have a teleporter there. These wings look good, I think. Oh, uh, but I can't move freely in liquid with this. Okay, you know what? I'm going back and grabbing... Like a... F is it flipper potion? Maybe Gil's potion would be helpful too. Okay, let's go. I, I don't... I don't know if Gills actually works in the abyss, but... Oh, I should have taken Hunter Potions, too. Gotta get deeper into the abyss, I guess. Or, or just grab stuff from shadow chests. So I'm not allowed to use the Rod of Discord. Guys, you'd better remind me to not use the Rod of Discord. I, I it's, it's not like I don't have a Rod of Discord, you know? I, I definitely have one. Oh, there's Luminil. Have I just not been picking it up? I guess I have. Huh. Iron. Uh, where do where do I get to Nebris? I literally don't know. I know I probably I know I want to Nebris don't know where I get it. Okay, so this is the third layer of the abyss, huh? Okay. If I tried to fight this thing, I'd probably die.
Oh, I died anyway. Yeah, I was sort of like out of oxygen. But this thing, if, if you try to fight it, it, you sort of just get one shot. Also, if you use a rod of discord, it one shots you. Okay, what does this thing do? Okay. So I got a bit of luminil, right? And then what else? Bunch of things that I don't know what to do with. So I can just dump this and that into there and um and make the abyssal diving gear. Okay, I think that's enough abyss for now. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there, man. Um, I do know what I'm supposed to do next in general, which is Plaguebringer. Gold Squirrel's dead. Which means I need to grab some mushroom platforms. You know, very important. 122 should be a nice number. And... Let's head to the jungle. Okay. So... We, we did more stuff with Arena, yeah? But still needs... Like... Cleaning up, I guess? Oh, I should have grabbed the Zen Potion before I came here. To just stop mobs from spawning. Mob spawn rates are just, they're so high, man. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know if I can do anything about it. Besides just killing everything that does spawn. Wait, why, why did I just explode? I don't know why I'm exploding. Wow, a tactical shotgun. I, oh no, I use a non-melee weapon. That's like the first time I've done it since the beginning of the playthrough, just to see what it does, what a weapon does. I feel bad, and as I should. Do I do I just fight Plague Ringer now? I think I could. I I think I could. If I grab my buff potions, that is. Oh, I'm below half health. fill in these holes so it's harder for things to get to me. Oh, and there's a plague for you. Guess it's a good test for how well the arena works. I don't know. I don't think I took damage there, did I? So... Oh god. Uh, bees. Game. 
I still don't understand what's hitting me when I get hit, like, half the time. Like, that time I saw- I know- I know what happened. But... Hmm. Okay, so I can... Sell some of this stuff. Like that. Two free platinum coins. Yep. I can... Find the nurse, if she even exists anymore. Ah, yes. Nurse. And then I can... Also buy... Uh, where is it? One of those... Maybe... Where is it? One of the, those. Okay, and then we go back to the jungle. <laughs> wrong, wrong one. Whatever. Which doctor has something to say to me? Ah. Uh, oh, this thing. Oh, god. Ah, oh, that brings back memories of the first time I ever played Terraria, uh, modded. Oh no. So, let, let's- quick- quick story time, right? So, I- I- my first playthrough ever, it was like- I had like five mods installed. I didn't want to like- d use too many mods, because then I wouldn't know how to play the game, right? So... Okay. Well, let's, let's just do this. So, I... Anyway, I had just beaten Plantera. And, and I... And, and, I end up... I don't know why, but I checked the... Oh, wow, I'm already taking damage, huh? I, I checked the... Um... The Witch Doctor's inventory because I'm like, hey, I don't know what this does. What does it? Or I, I don't know. I don't know why I checked it, but I, I did check the Witch Doctor's inventory for whatever dumb reason I had. Oh, I'm doing no damage with this, am I? Uh, no, it's fine. Anyway, what what happened is I see the. Mysteriously, the beginning of the plant era, and being being the dumb seventh whatever grader that I was back then, I was like, the plant era? What's that? I have no idea what that is. So, you know, I I decided to use it, right? And, um, it summoned Plantera. No spawn restrict. No, like, requirements for it spawning. It just, it just spawned Plantera. Oh, okay. I may die, I may just die here, honestly. Um, this is fine. Absolutely okay. Yep. 17%. Ah. Oh. Hmm. What can I do better? It, it's usually sort of bad when there's like the whole plague nuke barrage, whatever. And I don't know how to counter that. They seem to die on blocks, so maybe I just like... I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, but sadly, looking at the time, I am out of time for today, so thanks for, thanks for watching, um, we did stuff today, I, I guess, yeah, we did a bit, not much, but yeah, see you next time, goodbye.